Mm. Hey guys, uh, this is Jess with Sourceful Journey, back with another video. Just got back from one of my favorite places for breakfast, just to show you, Starbucks. So I actually went and got their uh, sous vide. It was the kale and mushroom. That's like my favorite from there. And they also have this caramel apple spice uh, tea that I get quite often, which is what you saw me drinking here. Amazing stuff. Um, so I got that. And also this potato bake that they have some new item on the menu. I went ahead and grabbed that too. So that's what I'll be having for breakfast. Um, I wanted to do a quick video with you guys, just really talking about the notion of how some of these people known as our karmics, how it's sad that they're willing to destroy their bloodline without realizing that the very things they're doing is just gonna simply backfire and it's gonna backfire in the worst way. So uh, yeah, without further ado, we're gonna go ahead and just talk about it. I think it's pretty sad that these karmics are so willing to ruin their legacy just effing around with you. Um, it kind of goes back to that whole saying of F around and find out. And sadly enough, they're starting to find out at a quicker rate. Um, the part that really baffles my mind because I don't think they do enough research to understand that the very thing that you do, that you think could be harming or uh, you know, hurting someone in one way or another, just to put it plainly, is the very thing that's gonna come back on you and your entire crew times 10, if not more. And it never fails. The only reason why some of us could speak on it so heavy because we've seen it play out, whether it was past or present, towards those same individuals that actually tried you. And the only reason why this is actually coming about is because it's kind of like that saying, um, do unto others as you want them to do unto you. So why is that so hard for certain individuals to take heed to and apply? It just blows my mind. And it blows my mind in the most bizarre way. When I say that, because the fact that you could have chosen to like move on and focus on things to better yourself, but they can't seem to let go of what you once had with them or the type of hold they once had on you, which in turn causes them to act very neurotic in my opinion. And so they start doing things, <clears throat> getting more people involved, spreading rumors about you. Um, you know, some of them sadly enough may even start trying to um, expose you by putting certain things out, like maybe, you know, intimate photos you sent them or maybe you may have even recorded some very acts that you were in with them without your consent. Now, the sad thing about that, because I've had heard stories of this happen actually with a few past friends of mine. Um, it was more so during their college days. But people fail to realize that that is a huge crime and you can get locked up for that if it gets out. People don't think too far ahead about it. And they think, oh, it's nothing. It's just photos or, oh, it's nothing. It was just a video I recorded just to remind me of something we used to do intimately. But if it was nothing, why didn't you inform the person at the time that you were doing it just to get consent from them that it was okay to do it? Bad move. And then it's released and then it's like, okay. I remember one of my good pals, this was actually during our college years, I think our junior year in college. She was actually engaged to this guy. And I guess he felt it was nice to have something to look back on periodically of their intimate acts. Not once or at any point did he like inform her that he was going to do the recording. She didn't find out till thereafter when they actually did not walk down the aisle. And somehow it was released online. Let's just say she literally, she literally took him to the cleaners and then some. And of course he got jail time for it too. And this actually happened in, um, what year was that? I think it was 2019, if I remember correctly. 
from when I remember what she said. I think it's 2019. 2019 or 2020. I could not believe my ears. I'm like, I didn't even know that people can get locked up for things like that. And I started doing my research. I'm like, oh, wow. So I'm glad that those type of rules are in place. But the point I'm trying to drive home here is that when it comes to some of these karmics, when it comes to certain scenarios that they feel they could be detrimental to your existence, they try every which way to do that just so you can feel the pain that they're feeling from when you had severed ties with them. But their way of doing it is not the best way to go because they're putting themselves in a position where they can end up in a deeper hole, i.e. having to pay huge fines or be locked up. The sad part about all of this is that the very being that gave them breath is the very being that's seen it all and that knew that it was going to transpire even before they even attempted to act. Again, people need to understand that every single thing that we encounter, we go through in our everyday existence, it's all a test. Either you pass or you fail. And if you fail, you got to deal with the ramifications that follow thereafter. Not only that, but again, talking about the legacy side of things, when it comes to causing these issues on the individual that has chosen to break ties with them. But they fail to realize that this is going to affect them generational wise, not only with them, but also that means any children they have, any grandchildren they have, and so forth. People need to understand they need to start taking it serious because if they don't and they continue these things, they're going to start to see it play out and then they're going to be sitting there wondering, why is all of this happening? Why is this taking place? Why, you know, they're going to be having so many why, why, whys. Well, it's not rocket science. You know, if people slow down to realize and pay attention to the flow in this thing called life, they would then begin to understand a lot of things that they encounter in their day to day as well is because of the very acts that they've done both past and present. And it just blows my mind that people don't slow down to recognize these things. It's like there has to be more people out there with common sense to sit back and think, okay, there has to be a reason why I'm encountering this. You're not experiencing certain things just because, oh, you're just one who's simply be down on your luck. It's not a case that you're, you know, oh, poor me, poor that, you know. <sighs> Put it plainly. Pay close attention. I say all that to say, I really pray for the day that these karmics begin to understand. It's just better to let things be. For if you don't, remember, the very being that gave you breath as well as everyone else is seeing it all, witnessing every single step you make. Whatever you think you're doing behind the scenes that the other person may not know about, they'll find out about. God and the team has so many ways in revealing that information. I feel like I'm putting out a PSA, like a warning to somebody. I don't know why. So whoever comes across this video, maybe it was meant for you, okay? Please take heed in terms of any actions that you do go going forward. I do ask that of you in a nice way. Not for my sake, more so for your sake. Because you never know what type of individual you're dealing with. You, you don't know what type of rank they hold in the spiritual space. Because let's be honest, every single being on the face of this earth that's being ran by, as far as a meat suit is concerned, there's a spirit within. We do know that, right? Have you figured that out? Every single person on the face of this earth, do we now understand that there is spirit that is running these vessels? I hope we're all on the same page with that. Taking a step further, you don't know what type of rank that they hold in the spiritual realm. That's why you have to be careful with who you interact with. Be careful with how you interact with them or make contact with them. That includes hugging and all those type of things. So be careful with who you exchange energy with, even on the intimate level. You have to be careful because you think whoever you're doing it to might be a pushover in the physical form. You may think that, right? But in the spiritual space, they may trump your ass like no other. And to take it a step further, they may be able to trump your ass. <laughs> they can probably trump your ass on such a deep level in the spiritual space, meaning not only on the light side of things, but the dark side as well. Don't mess with it.
<laughs> That's where that whole walking karma comes into play as well. Oops. I'm trying to kiss the egg in my hair. That's where the whole walking karma comes into play. Because each individual on the face of this earth, the moment we can all realize this, this is not our first rodeo, you guys. We've been here or on other planets several lifetimes before. Plenty of lifetimes before. I'll give you an example. Because a lot for a lot of the people, the peanut gallery in the back, they might say, oh, she's nuts. There's no way we could have been here or on any other planet before. This has to be my first time here. Okay. Genius. Let's talk about it. Explain to me how we can have children as young as four or five, right? <laughs> and there's plenty of footage online. How they can recount an experience of ever crashing in a plane in World War or whatever. Two, whatever, one. Or they can recount um, ever living in some place in Egypt. And they can give you the details of what they remember seeing or touching and who was all there and what took place and how they may have uh, crossed over into the spiritual from that time. How are people able to recount that experience, um, both children as well as adults? And that's completely different, completely conspicuous from what they're living in terms of today's time. Don't be naive. We should all be sensible enough to know that reincarnation is real. And again, that this, for every single person on the face of this earth, this is not our first rodeo. So, to go back to the point I'm trying to make here, when it comes to the past lives that we once lived versus now, you don't know what type of roles we took on in past what type of instincts we developed over time because of those past roles that stays with you. It doesn't leave the, the print. It stays a part of who you are spiritually, okay? Now, the fact of the matter is, going back to the spiritual statement, you think you might be dealing with a pushover at this point, but you don't have a clue that the very individual you're dealing with again, could trump your ass when it comes to the spiritual side of things. So that means that these people could actually have spiritual protection on both the good and not so great, the bad side, if you will, as well. Why would you want to try to test that? I would hope that everyone going forward would take this into consideration. Even your own day-to-day -day existence. Just simply live your life, treat people the way you want to be treated, and things will run smoothly. It's just that simple. I hope that also going forward as a collective, we'll take in consideration the very acts that we do. We'll keep in mind that, hey, anything I do at this point could possibly affect my mind further down the line. Let me be cautious about who I interact with. Let me be cautious with how I handle certain situations with individuals. You know, meaning like, don't go out trying to seek vengeance on a person because little do you realize they got an entire spiritual team behind them that's going to try to seek vengeance on you times 10. Why would you want to tamper with that? If anything, you should be trying to avoid it. I don't know if you guys saw the videos I put up. <laughs> There's these videos. They're on my page, uh, TikTok as well as YouTube. I don't know if I put it up on Instagram. I'm not sure. But anyhow, the videos have the title, We Are Never Alone. <laughs> Even with footage like that, right? And there's so much other footage, so many other um, content creators, things of that nature. They put up uh, content like that or examples of experiences they've had that shows that we are never alone. You would think people take heed to that stuff, right? There's a reason why, and I mentioned this in my 
second video. I did a response to the second video of We Are Never Alone, number two is what I titled it. So I did an actual response to that video, which if you guys are wondering, look for the video that shows me wearing like a, a royal blue top. Um, not In that video, I think I had spoke about, well, I did a video where I spoke about my encounter with Eric Trump. But I also did another video, which was in response to the actual We Are Never Alone number two video. I have it posted, so definitely take a look at my feedback on that because it kind of delves into what we're talking about right now. So people fail to realize that the reason why the spiritual space is making their presence more known like ever before, like never before, excuse me for that, is because people are actually they have the audacity to think that they could try to trump god and they're finding ways to try to get at a person because the person may have broken up with them or may have chosen to not deal with them any further because he saw through their bs the only reason why they saw through their bs is because it was revealed to them and it could have been revealed to him in plenty of ways. Maybe it could have been something that the person had said in terms of their verbiage. Or it could have been their own body language. And they didn't even realize that their very body language was what revealed it to that individual. That, okay, you're doing something that you shouldn't be doing. A lot of times it could also be because they may have had a vision. Or it was revealed to them in a dream. A lot of us get dreams too and visions. And if you know, you know. And... The, you know, the reality of it all is that, you know, not everyone is meant to be in your life forever. It's only meant to be a case where you're both in one another's life for a season. The point I'm trying to make here is that, you know, for you to think that you could even pull a quick one and that God would not ever notify one of his chosen be the most stupid shit I've ever heard of. It, it seems stupid, but the fact that people actually try to pull this stunt on a lot of us is mind-blowing to me. And you haven't figured it out yet that how was this person able to know that this happened behind their back? How are they able to pinpoint that we were getting ready to do that? How does she know that I actually did this and I didn't share this with her? How does she know to check this area to see that, okay, I'm dealing with this individual or I'm getting ready to attempt this or I'm going to get these individuals involved because I want them to take you out and da da da. How does she know all of this? Wake up people. <sighs> the sooner people can realize that no matter what type of negative things you try to do against an individual, if it's not a part of God's plan, it's not going to go through. It's just that. It's not going to go through. And you're going to continue to see the person excel and do well. Uh, your life is going to be going to the, the shits. Because everything that you are doing is being returned to you. Times 10, if not more. And oh, if you get other people involved. And... Let's be clear. If you get other people involved, let's say they have a spiritual background too. Meaning like they're probably a practitioner. Do tarot, whatever the case may be. Whether you go overseas or if you decide to visit them here in the States. Or wherever they may be. In Timbuktu. If you get them involved. <clears throat> and let's say they are good at what they do. It's fine being able to see what you you know, what's going on in your background, things like that, right? I'm trying to talk to you guys while I'm eating. So you have to excuse me. If you get those involved, and let's say you see the details. You see all oh, this getting ready to come up for this person. You see what type of individual they're dealing with on a spiritual level. And they still want to try to test it. Okay. Go ahead and do that if you want to. As I said in one of my other videos, you might not want to. 
And when we say that, we say that because we're speaking from a knowing that you just might not want to. Do yourself a favor. Do them a favor because you'll be saving them and their lineage from being caught in this wrath that God will put down and the spiritual space will put down. Just again, let things go. Treat people the way you want to be treated and move forward. And just know, if the person hasn't responded to you, oh, my ears are ringing. My ears been ringing like crazy. Hmm, it's been ringing like crazy for a while now, especially when I talk about topics like this. <sighs> Just know if the person hasn't spoken to you, or he blocked you, or whatever the case may be. Just know it's for a reason. If they made it very clear to you at some point that they are done with you, just know it's just that. They're done with you. All you can do is just continue to move forward and just know um, you may come across something out there that may just work out well for you, but just know the very result of the relationship or whatever, whether it may be with family, friends, or a significant other, the very result that you're looking at in regards to that individual is the cause of something that you've done and now you gotta live with it. That is all for today's video, you guys. Um, so definitely don't forget to uh, like, share, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Think of a time where you've encountered this yourselves. Um, you know, where maybe you broke it off with a partner, like a boyfriend or a husband or you know whoever it may be um for for the men you know like uh wives girlfriend you know whatever you know fiance all that think of a time where you may have broken up with a partner or family or whatever the case may be where for some reason you were able to clean your hands and be done but they were not how did that work out for them <laughs> I have to laugh because they, a lot of them really think they could test the hand of God and then they fail to realize that God is just that, God. And who are you to even think that you can get away with it? Who are you to even think that God would even allow you to get away with it and God was the very one that created you and gave you breath? Let's think about that for a minute. Like who, who does that? It blows my mind, but you have some idiots out there who honestly think that they could try to trump God and he's like, okay. Like, okay, you're going to try it. So this is that whole notion of F around to find out. A lot of you, especially now in 2024, are truly finding out because you effed around and thought you could get away with it. And you realize like, okay, God is onto my ass. Yeah, God is the one that created you and knew what you were going to do and what your plans were. It was up to you on whether or not you're going to pass the test and do the opposite. But you chose to be an idiot and do just that. And now you're sitting with it. And these very individuals who are getting these practitioners involved and all these other people who are into spiritual things. Now you're setting them up and shame on them for even doing it because they know the ramifications of what can happen to them and their lineage for even trying to attempt to do something towards someone who's chosen or who has a spiritual calling on their life. That's the worst thing that anyone can do. It's like, there's a few thousands of dollars is that really even worth it worth subjecting yourself and your bloodline to like generations of just disaster detrimental disaster to be quite upfront about it is it worth it people don't think about that they think about the money which actually if you think about it, the dollar whether it's the u.s dollar whether it may be a rupee or maybe a a dinar, whatever the case may be, the currency itself is depleting. It's really becoming obsolete at this point. And furthermore, if we're going to talk about the value of the dollar or the value of any of the other currencies, the value is depreciating daily. You're willing to subject your legacy, your lineage for taking on an act in hopes of being able to take someone down or take down a challenge and you know that the very thing that you're facing because you can see spiritually too just like they can 
you think it's worth taking on that challenge only that, that God had this set in stone for a reason. You're and what you're doing, and then people don't realize this. Now I pray for these people. You don't realize that what you're doing, and you're in turn challenging the very one that gave you breath. Whether you're spiritual, whether you're Christian, whether you're Hindu, we all have our various ways of how we refer to God, but God is just that, God. And the fact that you can even think that you could try to trump that individual, and I say individual because I think of God like in that sense, but more of being, but you know, you get tired of saying being so much. The fact that you think you can even trump that being, it's the most mind-blowing-ish, I really wanna say the other word, but I'm going to say ish that anyone could witness. It's actually laughable, in my opinion. I just, I can't even fathom the thought. We should be all at a point where we want to be able to break these generational curses and things in terms of our legacy, our lineage, not trying to add on to it. But that's on you. The funny part about it is because the very individual you are doing it to or you think you are having it sent to, they're spiritual too. Chances are they are. And chances are they have already been informed that you were getting ready to do this or have someone try to attempt to do this. So they know how to go about spiritually making sure they're protected. But they know how to also repel it where it goes back to you in the worst way. That's something you might want to watch out for too. So... That's that, you guys. So I, I kind of feel bad. I always say, you know what you can do? Just pray. Pray for your your enemy. The point I want to make here, pray for them, okay? Because they need it. A lot of them are not as seriously aware as you are. So a lot of times they don't realize the very actions of what they are doing. They don't realize what this can do for them in regards to their own legacy. But sadly enough, they are starting to find out a lot sooner rather than later because this is the year of Aquarius, 2024. Hmm. At this point, I will tell you the rest of you guys, just get ready to watch some very interesting things unfold. Get your popcorn because it's going to be really entertaining to witness. Because a lot of it's starting to roll out now. I'm starting to see it myself, actually. Hmm. It's funny. It's funny. But it's no one else is doing but their own. Also, I want to let you guys know I do have consultations still open. Um, I do have two spots available for tomorrow. Tomorrow being Monday. I think Wednesday I'm booked up. The rest of the week I am pretty open. So definitely if it is something that's of interest to you, jump onto my calendar set up a appointment time that works best that i have available if you have any issues with scheduling do reach out to me you can instagram um message me you can message me on tiktok emails emails work just as well i love the emails also <clears throat> i do uh keynote speaking as well as motivational speaking also so if it is something that um, you would like for me to partake in in terms of like maybe an event your organization has uh, that's lined up. You would like for me to come and speak at the event. You would just need to have someone from that division to reach out to me so we can definitely set up the details from there. Uh, but other than that, as always, you guys, I'm definitely sending you with love and light and I'll see you in the next video. In the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and finish the rest of my breakfast here. But I will be talking to you guys soon. Be blessed, you guys.